Hi everyone, this is Galen Martling, design team member with Unity Stamp Company. And today I'm showing a neighborhood scene. I'm gonna show how I make um, some fussy cutting um, with one large background stamp by Unity. And I used the stamp kit called Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood. It's an A2 size background stamp. It's huge, it's really great for backgrounds of, of any kind, really for any occasion. And so I'm using also this sentiment from the kit called Hello Fresh Start. It's the sentiment kit for January, 2021. And I'm using Distress Oxide ink by Ranger and Walnut Stain, an ink blending brush and a plastic craft mat by Ranger. And so I start by doing circular motions of this Walnut Stain color around the edges of this pre-cut and pre-stamped card front panel for the background. And so I go ahead and just add layers. I go around this and do this a couple of times around this card to get the start and the beginning of the ink shading. I will ink shade again a little later once I cut out some of this scene here. But for now, I just go ahead and uh, just do the edges. I also have some pre-cut slopes that I used my favorite thing, stitched scalloped basic edges dynamics to use to cut these slopes out. And uh, you can also use just a regular scissor and uh, just sketching out where you want slopes and cut them that way. But I like, I like the, um, the dies that I already have and I use them. Now I'm just fussy cutting, which is cutting out the bottom portion of these houses and buildings just to get a little bit of a separation between the buildings and the slopes. Now I'm going to use all the pieces. I'm just going to trim them to match this card front into the size of the card front. And now um, for this top section, I just go back and add, I, I just kind of view where I want these pieces to be trimmed. And then once I'm happy with the trimming, I go ahead and just make sure it fits the size of my card, my A2 size card, and get these pieces that would fit and um, trim them the, the appropriate size. So now I'm just going ahead and just lining these layers up and trimming as I go. It's just piece by piece. And then um, go ahead and add a little more Distress Ink Blending using that same Walnut Stain along the bottom portion and the bottom portion of these pieces. So it highlights the different sections of the neighborhood. I also added a little bit of Distress Ink Blending onto these green slopes, grassy slopes that I used. And then I uh, finished that Distress Ink Blending and heat setting that ink in. And then on a craft card front panel to make a frame, I just layered all of these pieces without adhering them first. I just lay them into where I think they might fit before I adhere them down. And um, I like the way it looked at this point. So I will go ahead and trim that background frame a little better at the end. But for now, I'm going ahead and using some flat double-sided tape to start adhering the pieces that I know that fit right. And then, you know, along the way, you just move pieces around a little bit before you adhere them down. You can also use liquid glue. It makes it a little bit easier to move around before it fastens permanently to that background uh, cardstock there. And so you just do this for each piece and line it up how you like it. And then just make sure you add some flat double-sided tape that will fit your, um, you know, glue or tape that works well the way you like to adhere things. And that's it. I trimmed that frame around it to make it a little more even on the outside. I added a little bit of twine, some tan cording, along with the sentiment towards the top of the card. This sentiment's from the sentiment kit and it goes nicely with the neighborhood. It can be used for housewarming, um, new neighbor card, or just any time. Thinking of you across the miles. I hope you like this. Thanks so much for watching. Please take a moment to subscribe to my channel and like this video and share. Thanks so much. Have a great day.